So I want to talk speed control today. So golfers who tend to struggle with controlling the ball on the green with their speed, they tend to be accelerating through impact. So their striking zone, they're, they're gonna be increasing the speed of the putter, okay? So if they're increasing that, the ball's gonna be coming off faster. What we want on the green, we want to be controlling the ball and keeping it nice and slow. If it's moving slower, it's easier to control. So that all comes down to the speed the putter's moving at. What we want to do, we want to have the acceleration point at the top of the backstroke. So changing the direction the putter's moving at, we excel down, and as we're coming into the ball, we want to be coasting, okay? So moving the putter at a constant speed, okay? I see better putters who control their speed decel than excel, okay? It's an old myth. It is, it is not easy to control a ball which is moving fast. We think about sports which are all about controlling an object, like bowls on a bowls green, them guys tend to really control the ball and the ball comes off nice and slow off their hands, okay? Um, what we want to do, and a really good drill for that, is gonna be using two tees, okay? We want to feel like our backstroke's longer than the follow through, and we want to feel like we're coasting into the golf ball. So here we have Rory McIlroy, Ricky Fowler, and Jordan Spieth, three very good putters. What we notice, all three of them coast their putter through impact with little acceleration, allowing them to control the ball speed better. So here with this drill, we've got our backstroke uh, tee, so the top of the backstroke, and our follow through tee. It's actually equal distance back and through, okay? But what I tend to see is a lot of golfers have a too short to backstroke and a big long extended follow through. What we're trying to do, we're trying to build up the energy in the backstroke to allow us to then coast through impact. So the top of the backstroke is gonna feel a little bit quicker so we can, we've built the energy up to allow us to coast at a constant speed through impact. This is a chart from Capto. Capto allows me to track the shape quality and the acceleration profile of the putter. The white line front in the middle is zero acceleration and the yellow and blue line is the putter's acceleration profile. The green line is optimum. This one, the putter's accelerating at impact, giving it a really poor shape quality. Whereas this one, the putter is decelling into impact and staying at a constant speed, giving it a much higher shape quality. An optimum shape quality will be one. Ball just ahead of it, we're going to move the putter inside the tees just behind the golf ball. So, what we're going to do, we are going to start the backstroke and the energy the acceleration points is at the top of where the tees are to stop the putter's movement and direct it in the opposite direction. But this point in the middle here, the putter's gonna be moving at a constant speed. So the drill works, we're gonna place the tees just inside the ball, backstrokes gonna be a little bit longer than the follow through to help generate the power and avoid the acceleration at impact. So we're gonna set just inside the ball, really feeling we're coasting through. We should be able to constantly keep the putter moving and keeping it at a constant speed through impact. So keep the putter moving after you've hit the ball. And that's going to really help you keep that constant flow and get the acceleration points in at the right place. Outside 25 feet, the best players on the PGA Tour made on average 10% of his attempts. So next time you hit a five under 30 feet, be happy if you two putt, because statistically, again, based on PJ Tour stats, on anything outside 25 feet, you're more likely to free putt than make a birdie. So sometimes it's not just technique, sometimes it's the mindset. What are you trying to achieve from a putt in hand? From outside 25 foot, it's just trying to two putt. If you're controlling the ball's speed better, you're more likely to hold longer putts because the ball is moving slower at the hole, making the hole bigger. Next time you get onto the golf course, just think about how far away you are from the hole and what the goal is in hand.
Sometimes it's not always trying to hold the putt, it's just trying to get the ball stone dead.